Welcome to this video on integration. As you see, we are being asked to find the area of a region and to find the area of a region. What we will do is use an integral. So let's first try and understand the question. So it says here that D is the region that is enclosed by these two graphs, y equals one minus x squared and y equals x squared minus three. So both of them are parabolas. And it is always a very good idea to plot these parabolas to try and see if we can understand what this region looks like. So here I'm going to plot two axes, x axis, y axis. The first one is one minus x squared. So if you look at one minus x squared, you see if you plug in x equals zero, then y should be one. So apparently if I plot here at one, that is on this parabola, on the first parabola. And for x equals one or minus one, so here minus one and here plus one, those are also on the parabola. And then we can sketch it. So this here, so it should be symmetric and should be through all three points, but this is a sketch of y is one minus x squared. Now, the other one, um, x squared minus three, if we plug in, so we are now considering this parabola. If we plug in x equals zero, then apparently we have minus three. So that's about here. And then um, for x equals square root of three, which is approximately 1.7. So let's plot that around here. So this is square root of three. And here on the other side, we have minus square root of three. Those are also on this parabola. So this parabola looks something like this. And again, it's going through all of these points and it should be a parabola. So this is a sketch y equals x squared minus three. And then the area in between these two curves, so this dashed area here, this is D and we need to find the area of D. So try to find this yourself, pause the video and then let's see how I solve it. So what I'm going to do is I first would like to find the coordinates for which these two graphs intersect. So the graph intersects if x squared minus three equals one minus x squared. In other words, if two x squared equals four, x squared equals two, x equals plus or minus square root of two. So the area of D, um, let's see, let me get some extra paper here. Uh, let me, let me write it. Um, let me write it below here. So the area of D is the integral D dA, so the two dimensional integral to function one over the area. And when we can describe this area by integrating from minus square root of two to square root of two dx, so I'm going to say that the x range from here to here is from minus square root of two up to square root of two. And then for a fixed x value in that region, I need to integrate from the lower bound and the lower bound is the green curve here. So x squared minus three up to the upper bound and the upper bound is the red curve, which is one minus x squared. So what I get, is the integral from the lower bound x squared minus three 
up to the upper bound 1 minus x squared dy. So this is the two-dimensional integral that I need to find. So let me copy this integral here. Oops, I want to copy it. I should do it like this. So I'm copying this equation. Copy. And I'm going to place that on the next slide because I need a bit more space for that. So let me put that here. Like that. Okay. So um, let's first do the integral in y. So I'm just copying the x bit minus square root of 2 to square root of 2 dx. Antiderivative is y. And then in between the limits, y equals 1 minus x squared, y equals x squared minus 3. So it's going to give me the integral from minus square root of 2 up to square root of 2. And then plugging in those values, I find 1 minus x squared minus x squared plus 3 dx. So apparently I have the integral minus square root of 2 to square root of 2. And then I have minus 2x squared plus 4 dx. Not so difficult to find an antiderivative here. Oops, I don't need those anymore. Sorry about that. So antiderivative minus 2 thirds x to the power 3, because if I differentiate that, I find minus 2x squared plus 4x. In between, x equals square root of 2, x equals minus square root of 2. And then if you plug them in, you find equals minus 2 thirds square root of 2 to the power 3, that's 2 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2 and then for minus square root of 2 I find the same thing but then with a minus sign so I can also say I'm going to multiply this with 2 so what I find then is um, this is going to give me minus four thirds. This is going to give me times three, 12 over three, um, 12 minus four times two. And altogether what we find is 16 over three square root of two. So then is the answer to the area here. So let us check whether this is indeed one of the options that was in the question. So 16 over 3 square root of 2. And we see that indeed that is option B. So that is the answer to this question. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.